We've always tried to do whatever we can for the community. This weekend, many people are stepping up to show support for the town of Perry. It comes just days after a shooting at the high school claimed the life of sixth grader Amir Joliffe. He is being remembered as a joyful boy who loved soccer and singing. These photos are from the 11 year old's mother, Erica, who says he was known as Smiley around his house. And we can definitely see why through these photos where he's always smiling so sweetly. The shooting also injured seven others, including the principal, Dan Marburger. This morning, a group of students and alumni took part in a rock painting. It was right outside the school to show support for the victims, their families, and the community. It was organized by the class of 2024 with the class of 2014 helping out. You can see the boulder covered in blue with a special message. Once a Blue Jay, always a Blue Jay. Two days after the school shooting, members of the Perry community continue to work together, this time to bring kids a little bit of joy. KCCI's Ethan Humble caught up with the local Boy, Boy Scout troop about how they're stepping up to help. A teddy bear may just seem like a childhood toy, but after the tragedies of Thursday in Perry, one local Boy Scout troop is using them to make a difference. Fifth grader Kira Schneider was going to school as she normally would Thursday morning. That was until she got a call from her best friend at the high school. And she was running so I could barely understand her. And she was just trying to tell me about what was happening. She ended up learning it was the shooting that killed 11-year-old Amir Joliffe and left at least seven others injured. Schneider's dad, Scott, says he made some calls as fast as he could. Instantly, I call my son, who is in the high school, and then once I find out he is safe, I get a hold of my daughter. And thankfully, both were okay. But with both involved in Perry's local Boy Scout Troop 127, the Schneiders thought of those who weren't okay. They gathered the group and thought of a gift they could give to help comfort the children closest to the tragedy. Can we do a stuffed animal drive? Absolutely, that's what scouts do, we help out. And they got to work. The troop has been gathering teddy bears and receiving payment for more on Schneider's Venmo. We were hoping to get enough stuffed animals for one class, the, the class of the teacher that her dad is the principal. Now with an outpour of community outreach, the goal has grown to getting stuffed animals for every kid in the elementary school. The Schneiders dropped off the bears at the Perry Public Library Saturday to support those seeking out the library's free counseling services. Kira says it's just what scouts do. We've always tried to do whatever we can for the community. Schneider says the troop will continue accepting donations through Wednesday. In Perry, Ethan Humble, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. There are so many elementary students with siblings in the high school. I know this will mean so much to them. As students are struggling during this difficult time, alumni from Perry High School are stepping up to help. Emma Olenzak is a 2007 graduate. She's also a guidance counselor in a neighboring district. Emma is using her skills to act as grief support for Perry students. She says in spite of how recently the tragedy happened, she's impressed by the resilience from the teenagers she's met. They are showing extreme courage um, and grit. They're, like I've kind of mentioned, there's no, there's no easy way, there's no right way, there's no wrong way, but they are giving me strength and they're giving me hope in such times of, you know, crisis and they're very mature and they're thinking and, you know, they're taking call, they're, they're taking action. Emily says the public support for Perry is having a positive impact on the students, which is why she's hoping it will continue.